This is H U S K I D A N D A S K I D A N We are here watching a game of Protoss versus Zerg. I'm simulcasting with Jeff. Hey, dude. And that was that was actually really scary. Uh, do you watch a lot of Husky videos, or are you just able to perfectly emulate exactly how he sounds? Yep, that's why I'm still in the Bronze League. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, what do you know about these players, man? The Protoss versus Zerg matchup here, the, the Korean from Team Clarity is that red Protoss, and then the Zerg is uh, Schneider. So, de so the Protoss has already won. Because he's Korean? There's no way a guy named Schneider is beating a Korean. I'd put my money on the Korean any <laughs> any form of competition, not just StarCraft. No one named Schneider has ever won a game. That's, that's actually that's actually historically true, from what I understand. There's not like some record book somewhere that's like, ah, Schneider, the NBA All-Star of the season 2006, where you know he was what? the three-point sniper. You know what you'll never hear? President Schneider. <laughs> uh, well, how come? We, we have a President Barack Obama. There's a lot of people that never thought that would happen. Oh, wow. What do we have here? I can't believe I'm starcrafting with a white supremacist. <laughs> hey, man, I said a lot of people. I didn't say me necessarily. I heard what you said. This is how you do it, huh? You guys do star casts and the whole time yep. you're trying to recruit people ah look at that ha that's justice anytime one of those damn little blippy things gets eaten by the crabs i love it <laughs> I, yeah i'm sorry i'm supposed to be a lot more coherent than this but I, <clears throat> listening to you cast starcraft 2 in my opinion it's like uh it's like the interpretation of a child and i really appreciate it the interpretation of a child that's constantly this is... When oh. the blippy things die to the crabs? <laughs> <laughs> no, no child. Childs would actually probably be a little more articulate in their description of the game. What do you think uh, is going on in the Protoss space right now? Like, there seems oh, to be... Setting up a... Let's see if he laid down a forge. What do you know? He's put a forge down. He's blocking up. He's going for that second expansion. It looks like he's going for a macro build here. And that's just fine because Schneider is putting his second base up. Nobody's in a lot of danger here. Everything yeah. looks like it's fine. It looks like Schneider is probably going to go for a classic Roach Rush. Uh, you're predicting a Roach Rush? I don't know. No, I, I think that. I mean, there should be a lot of Roaches involved, right? The guy does play Zerg. Well, if the drones are cr are crabs, what are the roaches then? Excuse me, what? If the drones are crabs, what are the roaches? Ah, uh, you know, man, I'm gonna just say the roaches are roaches. Okay. Drones are. I mean, look, the things are clearly crabs. Have you ever been to? Yeah. Some. Well, I'm, I'm having one of those moments where you said something that made so much sense that, like, that's why I'm asking you that question because I want to know the more truths about this because you're right they are crabs there's the wool has been pulled over our eyes for a little too long about this go ahead and say now if you guys want to really understand the truth behind starcraft go to antigua shipyard and yeah. and marvel at the swastika in the center of the screen it's weird how they snuck that in there and not anybody noticed it until until, you. The, until i got stoned yep here we go it looks like wow we've got our Real fast build expansion happening here with a lot of creep tumors laying down. Where is he sending that old lumbering queen? Where do you think she's going? She's going off to make a private phone call. What's he doing? She will uh, take her time, but she does. She has to go off and uh, join this new hatchery. Going to the new hatchery. Three hatches laid down. Anytime I try this, I immediately get wiped out by whoever I'm playing. This is a three hatchery. Three hatchery. This is a modern build. This is a relatively new, fast expansion style build that we've been seeing a lot of lately here in StarCraft 2. People used to just lay down one expansion, send your drones in, and kill the uh, kill the the the, the blip. What do you call them? The probes. Pro. Yeah. I like That's blip though, man. I, I'm serious. You're cooking some good stuff here. Listen, classic StarCraft used to be played. <laughs> 
and would duel. You would send Medieval. your you would send your drones into the crabs, and they would you would fight. That's it. That's the game. Now everyone's building these other troops, other creatures. It's honestly the game is lot. It's no fun for me anymore. Uh, do you feel like it's gone in the wrong direction since people stopped harvester rushing? Yes. Okay. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, Mr. Trussell, I, I have to agree with you. I think the game got a lot more boring when they diversified strategies and changed it all up. It used Look to be a lot more simple. It was a simpler time, if I'm not mistaken, right? Look at this. Three expansions. He's running one of his, uh, one of the banana men into the base, probably. <laughs> I'm serious. That's that's right, F not, that's the best. A banana man. Yeah, that's what they he are. He looks like a fucking banana man. As you say that, it it clears away the clouds in my brain, and that is a banana man. I'm not even kidding you. Wearing a banana suit. That's like you yeah. can play. What are these ships coming at it? I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not, I'm usually a pretty creative guy, but you're outclassing me right now. What is it? What are those? Uh, these are, um, ah, Jesus. I, you know, I haven't really thought of anything for these I'm things. I'm sorry. I, don't even... I put you on the spot. You're better, you're better organically thinking it up. Fine. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is, so here we have a basic, uh, banana man, uh, I don't know, ice cream cone thing rush. Ice cream cone. <laughs> so look, there it goes. You're getting attacked by, a, by some kind of futuristic ice cream chef. Yeah. This is a classic rush. He's definitely that expansion. There's no way the queens are gonna stand up. The roaches are. Oh my God! Look at all those queens. Yeah, there's a lot of queens here, and they're doing battle with the uh, ice cream chefs of the future. Banana man's getting some good contact in with, with this roaches. And right now, uh, the banana man army is kind of having a tough time focusing on what it wants to kill. You look at the extractor took some damage, the hatchery took some damage, but it didn't really focus there. He even got a couple crabs. And not the good know. time. Looks like Schneider's in trouble. You think Schneider's in trouble? All right, well, he's pushing back against the banana people. One of the ice cream chefs does go down. What do we call these uh, other things, the non-banana people? What are those? Are you talking about the spiders? Yeah, the spiders. Oh, okay, they're spiders. Well, there's just spiders left and one uh, banana chef. They're gonna pull back, but uh, <laughs> the my one does go down. Yeah, so they're falling back. They're having to fall back. There's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than when this happens. Yeah. Uh, Ninety-three percent of Prodos players are verifiably um, uh, douchebags. They did a study. Really? MIT, yeah, MIT did a study on this, and they've discovered. Oh, wow. There's two, there's basically, there's two races that you should be playing in StarCraft. You should be playing the Zergs, or you should be playing the Terran. Okay, but if you, but as MIT has proven, if you play Protoss, you're a douchebag. I don't know, man. I don't, I, I guess that that's not like a, a, a that's the part on douchebags. <laughs> I, I don't like the, I don't like the, the, I don't understand. It's like a glitter race. I don't know why you play yeah. that. The it's glitter like, race? You Protoss play farm, though. Oh, my God. You actually might be on to something. Can I be honest with you? Yes. I'm a huge Farmville addict. I love Farmville. Every day I wake up and I plow my fields and I milk my cows and then I grow some carrots. You notice so much more when you're casting than you do when, you, when you're normally playing. Like, I've never right. noticed silver crystal at the tip on the tip of those ships. Yeah, well, I mean, when you said the glitter race, this is actually making really good sense. And race, you know what? Banana people, the ice cream chef. I think spiders. It falls off a little bit. What do you call the uh, the the sentry? What is that unit actually called? Which one's the sentry? The one that looks like a fishbowl being pulled along by a fishbowl. Uh, pulls. It's the fishbowl. The fishbowl. The fishbowl. Fish, yeah. You know, honestly, Protoss is a fun, I don't know why, I, that's a stupid thing to say that anyone who plays that is dumb. They're, they're okay, they're kind of like a parliament album. Well, congratulations, you're the first person in the history of mankind to make that comparison. I don't know if you knew that, but you just made history. Look at any parliament album and you'll see Protoss all over the place. Clearly, whoever was designing Protoss 
when they were working at Blizzard was listening yeah. to part was in the midst of some kind of terrible ecstasy LSD combo trip. Yeah. I could see that being very likely. Hey, Marley, let's get back. Can you tell me what's happening? Sure. So uh, the Zerg player has taken its its roaches and zerglings and expanded with those lumbering queens. And a lot of the crabs are at a fourth base now, which means the economy is doing really well. And I call these guys brain bugs. What do you what do you think those big slugs are? I, I think brain there you go, man. It's perfect. Yeah. Uh, those are called infestors. Oh, the, uh, but I thought they were uh, from Starship Troopers. They were the, the brain bugs. Yeah, you're totally right. No, I was just trying to imitate the legion of angry people who are angry at this cast right now. Those are infestors. <laughs> and brain bugs, banana men, and they are not crabs. <laughs> Well, the Glitter Ace is pushing out here. He's got a quick combo, but he's getting some fungals from those brain bugs. Because Terran's getting launched as well. And he's just taking a lot of damage, man. This does not look good for our Glitter Ace. But screw him, he's a douchebag, right? Blasting him with the team. I can never pull this off. How many arms does this guy have? Probably at least two. Could have more, though. I have heard of that. You can play like this? I can't play like this. Where does it, where can you see the action for a minute? Uh, uh, you have to hit the M key. M key. We barely talked about the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, fourth base is under attack. The Glitter Ace has prevailed. Crabs are soon to be without a home, but a lot of Zerg has come down. And the hatchery is living on its last legs, but there's so many stalkers here, or spiders, excuse me. Uh, oh! Starting to get whittled away a little bit. I don't see how, but I do like what he's doing with the uh, what, whatever the uh, the flying crabs. Ah, uh, the like... flying crabs. I call them Whoopi Goldbergs. Even though you could spray that green shit on land on land going <laughs> 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 going creatures. Or land going. I like that. It's aquatically themed. Banana people are inside the main base of the Zerg player, and all of a sudden the glitter race. He's showing up at the natural at a really inconvenient time. Lots of warpins coming in, and it looks like our Zerg's in a lot of trouble. You're a professional caster! Nah. That sounded so good. I could never do that. I just suck at this game. I, I'm, I, I give up. I could do it. I think you I'm, could. I'm going back to Mesa Pandera. Do you commentate Mr. Pandera? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I Laugh, do. I but it could be done. Do people do that? Yeah, man. One of the, my old roommates is a caster for Mist of Pandera. Wow. Schneider's going down. That's it. This is it for Schneider, as predicted. Your Schneider. theory is... Yeah. My theory is completely correct. When you watch this bloodbath happening, he does come in with a nice mini army of roaches and zerks. Look how, look how he's using that elevation to his advantage. Kept the banana people trapped on the ramp. Are teleporting out. It looks like he's actually defended his base mysteriously and incredibly, something I never would have imagined possible. By now, well, I would... Look at those flying crabs. You know what those are, right? Those are super powerful crabs. Damn it, man. I I don't remember. Guardians? Broodlords. Yeah. You get you like you can click on them and it shows the name. Oh, those are broodlords, obviously. Yeah. And those are powerful, but they are slow moving. They are but slow moving. And I'm starting to really kind of sit from the juice that you're uh, serving here, but like, I think with flying crabs and ground crabs, they are the crab people, if I'm not mistaken. You know, that's a, that's a pretty accurate appraisal of what the Zergs are, I guess so. Yeah. They're a combination of a lot of different things. I've Banana got a people. lot of crab people. Whenever I'm playing StarCraft, I consider the Zergs are what's happening to my time that should be spent doing other things. And okay. that the, and that the uh, what do you call the shit that spreads? The creep. The creep, the creep is yeah. crawling all over my life is instead of doing productive activities, I slowly allow this game to suck my life energy into a blizzard. <laughs> you're, you're not on friendly terms with StarCraft, and this is more of a love-hate relationship, and you're on the hate side right now? No, I love StarCraft. Don't get me wrong. I love StarCraft in the same way Elliot Smith loved heroin. Yeah. That's a relationship that I'll just have to take your advice on. It's I have yet a, to dabble in the black tar heroin. 
How many? Oh, trust me, you you definitely dabble in heroin. Only you injected eyes in the form of Starcraft. Yeah. Right. Okay. A beautiful, beautiful array of bite, grab, and attack brain beasts. What yeah, the brain beasts. They launched their volleyballs. And now the Lumbering Queen is aided by the Roaches, and they're going to fend off this Protoss army. Protoss army is just right now banana people and spiders, so of course that's that's not too glittery. The, the more glittery they are, the better they are, so that's the Archons and the Ice Cream Chefs. I guess that's true. And now there's a lot of, what do you call those, the little, the little scuttling guys? This those are like sand crabs. Berg? Yeah. Oh, uh you just call them Berg? I know it's not exciting, but I can name the basic units. Release that. I don't okay. and I, I'm a bit confused as to how someone's able to move quickly enough to do all this stuff at once. How many uh, APMs do you think you have? Me? Yeah. Uh, at least three dozen. I mean, sometimes, sometimes four. It gets the job done, man. It's not the it's not the size of the APM that matters. It's how you use it. You know that, uh, right? Yeah, I've heard that. I guess I've heard that muttered on docks. <laughs> do, you, do you spend a lot of time at the docks? Is that is that where the is that the hip hop place to be? I don't know. Place. I mostly I mostly just play computer games. So when people say they hear things at the docks, I have to ask them for their for it's what turn, happens at the docks. Just a turn of phrase that okay. I just of. But yeah, I, do. I spend a lot of time at the docks. Go. <laughs> Looks like uh, Schneider is massing another uh, exciting army of groundsmen. Ground. This is going on so long. How long is this? Oh, there you go. It's over. And the history, the Duncan, the the history has been broken. A Schneider won a game. What do you mean he won? Ah! He won the game. The Korean what? left. Yeah. He's... I can't believe this. And also, I'm not sure that that was a Korean. Si Young, that doesn't, that could be anybody. Char... That could be yeah. Charles. Charles Young. Well, that was an exciting game. Uh, to all of you listening, confused and <laughs> angry. Be upset. I, I I'm in the bronze league. I never claimed to be good at StarCraft. Uh, I'm clearly not very good at it. I don't know the names. Of, I'm not like Jeff. Jeff is a master of this game. Are you a professional caster, Jeff? I do dabble in the professional arts of casting. Yes. Ah, see that I, I, the way your mind's working, it shows that I give up StarCraft because my mind doesn't work like that. I can't see that many steps ahead. They well, I actually different... think the way your brain works with StarCraft enriches it, though. Banana people, crab people, this is the kind of stuff that we never, uh, outside the aid of, of, you know, narcotics, we would just not come up with. That would not be found. But you brought that to us. You, you laid that at our feet, and we are better for it. You have enriched the lives of everyone StarCraft-related. Don't do drugs. Play StarCraft sober. Never mix StarCraft with any kind of drugs, ever. It will destroy. <laughs> life you will end up wearing adult diapers and staying <laughs> play sober I you say adult life. diapers like that's a bad thing like the idea of not having to get up and use the bathroom and instead just taking a shower at the end of the day i mean that's that doesn't sound so bad to me well it, it's trust man you don't don't want that life guys i'm I, if I, I those of you who stayed through this entire horrible cast Jeff, thank you. You knew what you were doing. I, I wasn't prepared for the complexity of this game. Uh, no offense to HT Husky to the Husky. I have learned a little bit from watching your games. Uh, and I love all of you. Please continue. Be good groundsmen. If you're a if you're a Prodos, if you like to play with the banana men, I do not judge you at all. I totally understand. Zerg are still the best race. Terrans are for geriatrics. This is Duncan Trump signing out with Jeff on this beautiful inauguration Monday.